I want to be part of an, of an ambitious officeholder team. I want to be part of a team that's positive, driving forward for the, on behalf of the membership. And I want to be part of a team that's positive for the NFU business itself. I'm a beef, sheep and arable farmer and I'm passionate about the industry. I have two sons who want to farm and I'm determined to try to influence the industry so that they can be confident of, of having a future that is profitable. I started my business with nothing, I've built it to, to where it is today and I'm still driving it forward. And I believe that that's a, a good prerequisite for any leader in the industry or any NFU officeholder to be in part of a business going forward so that it's clearly understood policy, what the effect of policy decisions and the challenges have on a, on a future business. I think we all recognise that there is a certain degree of confidence coming back into the industry. However, there are some big policy issues that, we, that, <coughs> that are coming up. The TB challenge is one, we're, we're setting off in the right direction. We need to see some movement on the McDonald review. And I think it's clear that government is bust. We all recognise that and are determined to, to find ways to transfer costs directly onto the industry. We must resist that. And I think if we are to benefit from any opportunities within these challenges, we need to see farmers benefit to the maximum from earned recognition. And we need to see farmers being trusted again. And of course we've got cap reform. Again, we need to see farmers recognised as food producers, not just carers of the environment. There must be a balance. And of course the NFU is, is conducting a regional review I think there's some real opportunities there for, for the organisation to, to, to reach out to its membership and to give the membership real opportunities to, to formulate policy decisions and help drive the NFU in the right direction. Now I have been fortunate and privileged to have been the Livestock Board Chairman for the last four years, a role which I'm stepping down from. I've also been Deputy Chairman of the Copa Beef Group in, in Europe. And those roles have given me the opportunity to form professional relationships with ministers and civil servants, not only in the UK, but in Europe as well. And I know that with your help and support, I can be a good leader and a good office holder. And I believe that I can influence policy. And I believe that I can make a difference on behalf of our members. Thank you.